Many riders tend to pull in the clutch all the way when shifting gears or practicing low speed maneuvers. Each bike has a friction zone on the clutch lever, about a half an inch, where the power is taken away. When shifting gears or practicing low speed maneuvers, you only need to pull the clutch in enough to reach the friction zone and then ease it out. Avoid pulling the clutch all the way in as it creates a dead space before the bike catches again, leading to jerky shifts or instability during low speed maneuvers. Only pull the clutch in enough to reach the friction zone rather than using the full range of motion of the clutch lever. Investing in a high quality clutch lever offers several benefits, one of which is the wide range of lengths to choose from. Personally, I prefer using a two finger clutch lever that comes with a beard guaranteeing a seamless and effortless pulling experience. This five inch clutch lever lets me engage with just two fingers, similar in size to most OEM levers, but just a bit shorter. The difference is it allows me to use two fingers for shifting while keeping a good grip on the handlebars, which helps with safe wheelies. When doing wheelies, start with the bike barely moving. Hold the clutch, rev to around 8,000 RPM, Slowly release the clutch and cover the rear brake with your right foot. Mastering clutch and brake control is key to safe wheelies. Additionally, when doing wheelies, it's important to shift your weight backwards and find the balance point once the front wheel is lifted. Many riders make the mistake of chasing wheelies, but a good wheelie involves easing off the gas once the front wheel is up and riding the balance point rather than continuously accelerating. Consider getting a shorter four inch clutch lever if you're mainly doing wheelies. It's designed for one finger use, making it easier to control during wheelie. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the other video on my channel discussing body positioning. I'll leave the link here. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.